Welcome to one of the videos for the past HSC exam questions. And this video will cover one of the questions which comes from the biomass and condensation polymer chapter. So what I'll do is I'll go over the actual, I'll read out the actual question in a second. And when I do, I'll give you five seconds to pause the video. So what I would recommend is once I've read the actual question to pause the video, attempt to answer this question. And then once you have answered the question, press play again and I'll go over step by step of how you should have answered that question. So I'll read out the question. So the question is, assess the impact of the, of the development of a named biopolymer on society and the environment. And that question was worth four marks. All right, so I'm going to pause for five seconds, pause the video and attempt to answer the question. All right, so I'm back. So what I would do first, when you look at this question, let's look at the actual verb. It says assess. What assess means is make judgment, make a judgment. And in this case, make a judgment on the impact of the development of a named biopolymer on society and the environment. You also got to know what your named biopolymer was. In this, we're going to go over the name one PLA. But you could have chosen a different one as well. But you need to have a named example of biopolymer that you'll cover. And you have to assess the impact on society and the environment. So you've got to make sure when you answer, you've gone through how society is affected and how the environment is affected. And you also got to take into consideration that it's worth four marks. So before like, I start, I make sure I just break it into a couple of different parts. So when it comes to a four mark question, especially an assess or a judgment question, I usually start with a short intro. So there'll be a short intro. Then I'll look at the uses of the polymer. So uses of PLA. Then I'll look at some of the reasons why why they're being used. And some of the reasons why they might still not be used to fullest extent. So so limitations of using this bipolymer. And most of your marks you probably get for those the uses of the PLA and why they're being used and the limitations of the polymers. So these three will give you most of your marks. But it's always good to include an intro just to make it seem like a nice essay as well. Right, so the first part of this here is the introduction. The biopolymer PLA or polylactic acid was first patented in nineteen fifties was first produced on a commercial scale in the, line, in the late 1990s. PLA is an, a renewable condensation polymer presently produced from the fermentation of cornstarch using bacteria yeast. Right. So in this case, we've just basically explained what PLA was and when it was started to be commercially produced, so commercial scale. So this is when it started to have its impact in the late 1990s. We also mentioned that it was a renewable and condensation polymer. Renewable is important when it comes to what I'm go over later. Um, but yeah, this is this probably won't get any marks, any no marks yet. But it's good to have this kind of introduction for a four, five, six, seven, or eight uh, mark question, just so the next bits make a bit more sense. What you have, what I've written then is that's now now I talk about the uses of the PLA. So PLA has similar properties and uses of the other synthetic polymers that are used to make plastics. Its high tensile strength and good flexibility and moldability make PLA ideal for the production of plastic bags, garbage bags, and plastic containers. So here, what we've done is we have compared PLA, which is the biopolymer, to the synthetic polymers, such as, we didn't name them, but high-density polyethylene, low-density polyethylene, that the properties and the uses are similar, which means we could theoretically replace the synthetic polymers with PLA. Um, we also gave some of the how the properties, so the high tensile strength and the flexibility, how they result in certain um, products such as plastic bags, garbage bags, and plastic containers. So what we've done now, we will get we will get marks for this. So probably about one mark, one mark out of our um, four marks for that kind of just to. I mean, the, what we're doing in this in essence is going over. Um, explaining how properties are related to 
the uses. We haven't said if this actually is being used on a high scale, on a large scale, but we mentioned that the, theoretically we can use PLA for these kind of things. For this next part, we're giving the markers some insight in terms of the benefits of PLA. So at the moment what we did was we compared PLA to synthetic polymers and said that they're quite similar. So here we've got that again. PLA can replace many plastics currently derived from petroleum, but also has the advantage of being renewable and biodegradable. Right? So here we've just mentioned renewable and biodegradable. So these are the two advantages. And next what we have to do is um, link the renewable and biodegradable to how society and the environment benefit, how it impacts those. So its renewable nature means that society can enjoy the benefits of plastics for many years after petroleum supplies run out without having to worry about the high environmental costs of non-degradable plastics. Right? So the first point was about how we have plastics, we've, we've used PLA, we've got plastics for many years after petroleum has run out. So society benefits because they can use plastics for many years even when our petroleum supplies run out. And then we also, how the environment benefits, um, without having to worry about the high environmental costs of degradable plastics. And remember the degradable plastics, that was all that the petroleum ones, so the non-biopolymer ones, were the non-degradable ones. So if we use PLA instead, we're going to be able to use plastics for many, many centuries. For, and also, we're going to be able to have a small environmental costs because we can make sure they become degradable again. They can become biodegradable. And then last but not least, so these here should have all given us one mark here and one mark here. If we want to go for the full mark, we still have to assess maybe the future impact as well. So with this we've done the PLA plastics will have an even bigger impact in the future as production costs continue to decrease and more ways are found to use food waste to produce PLA polymers. So in the intro we said that at the moment the PLA polymers are used are made from um, cornstarch but here we say if we have more ways to make it we can make even more PLA polymers and the cost is also going to be decreasing in the future. So if these two things happen then it's going to have an even bigger impact on society and that should also get as a mark. Right? So also notice that I usually try to use the words, um, the scientific terminology that's important. So for example, polymers, um, use that quite often, renewable, um, use biodegradable, those are the scientific terms that are good to use in your answers because if you do, then you will have more chance of getting your full marks. And overall, I try to bring it into the, hat, the whole idea of intro first a short intro, then I explain the uses of PLA, that polymer, and then how they're being used, the impact itself on society, and maybe also the future impact of society and how they can have an even bigger impact in the future. And so if you have that kind of setup, you should be good for your exam as well. But for those four, five, six mark questions, make sure you always try to have some kind of layout in terms of how you want to make it and how you want to write it before you do. Always start with an intro, a short intro, and then cover the, bot the dots you need to cover. And make sure by the end you go over the actual question again. So assess the impact of the development of a named biopolymer on society and the environment. Make sure your actual answer um, cover those points as well. So I hope that was useful.